the other one then. Okay. We should have really all shut our eyes, but we've blown it now. But we'll try. We'll just Quick, see. Shut your eyes. <laughs> <coughs> Pablo. Uh, What's that one? Um, whatever. Something tells me it'll make that. Uh, there you go. Oh, Don't ding it. It's not ours. I so like how long have you had this guitar like for? Knobs on it though. Are they hold on, hold original on. knobs or? And your name is? Ian. Ian. Your surname? Black. Address? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like the knobs on it. They kind of look like they've got little bullets or something in them, haven't they? That's because they've got tone bullets in them. <laughs> it's immediately just much better, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> tram is elevated and not leveled out and so what you've got is it's the strings are very very low and it's not giving it an can I just say for the camera he didn't buy it from Anderton's <laughs> no, 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 no no the guitar is <coughs> worldlessly good but it just needs literally a semi like a half mil to a mil more relief to allow a sustained saturated harmonic because oh, so it is too close to the back the pickup. string mm. when you pick it rotates and it yeah if you look how high that is uh, yeah, in fact, that's a, that is a really good tip that, that Robert's just giving you there. You know that the, the closer you wind the, the, the pickup up to the strings, the louder the guitar becomes. But there is a critical point at which you reach where the magnet in the pickup gets so close to the string that it pulls on the string. So the string can't naturally resonate. So what you want to be happening is when you, you know, when you, when you pick a string and you look down, you can see the string goes all fuzzy and kind of moving away like crazy. If it's too close to the, any of the, the magnets on the pickups, those magnets will choke the sound. Phil X, when, you know, don't mean to name drop or anything, but Phil X said to us, on his signature guitar, uh, he took, if you look at his signature uh, Yamaha SG. That's because he couldn't have the pickup. Yeah, it only has <laughs> they got the money, man. Uh, a bridge pickup. <laughs> and he copied the idea from Malcolm Young's Guild, where again, he's taken the pickup out. And he just said, because I don't use the neck pickup, I get, a, I get a sound by using the bridge pickup and rolling all the tone off, that's fine by me. I don't use it. So he said I didn't, and, and I could actually hear the difference of not having the extra magnet underneath the strings kind of pulling down. So he's, uh, so that's why you should be really careful. So, to, you know, don't, uh, come here, don't. Come here. I want to show you something. Bring him in. And what we'll do is I'll, I'll show him so that you can show everyone. If you fret down the first fret, any string will do. Yeah. Oh, I can do it for you, you can just watch. Oh, okay. And then the, the very, the very, Take my thumb, it has yeah. to be my thumb though, <laughs> and fret down the very last fret and touch the centre. Touch that, there should be a mil before yeah. it touches the fret. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Now, Mine's let's, no, no, it's not, it's not. It's, it's just, just a setup. We're going to get it set up for you. So if I fret down the first fret here. Yeah, do you know what? We'll get Pablo to do it for yeah, free we'll for you. Touch the middle. Even though you didn't buy That's the guitar nice from <laughs> So what it shows is that the neck needs a little tiny bit of relief mm. to allow it that touch. And also... I was going to say the trem system looks like it's sat back the trem, the bar, isn't it? The strings aren't thick enough or it's not been adjusted to relieve the springs to give it mm. that elevation to get it over the frets. Pablo, yes. would you mind if Pablo adjusted this way? That would be very nice of me if you did. Could you adjust this guitar please? Yeah, of course, it needs a touch of neck reliefage. So there you go. And it needs, oh. it needs the tre it needs full setup. And you can do that at home. <laughs> if you, on How much would we normally, normally charge for a full setup at Anthony's? 40 pounds. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, that's a, that's a cool tip. And, you know, actually, you know, you, you see all these guys looking down their necks here and they're, and they're going, yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect and straight. And you go, no, 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 it doesn't want to be perfect and straight. It wants to have no. a little kind of little bit of camber in it like it's that. It's like women. How's it like <laughs> <laughs> you, If you haven't got a good deck, you better have a good hand. No. If you haven't got a deck, <laughs> 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 Let's play. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, what should we what should we play? Smoke on the water. <laughs> 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 By the way, this is um, before we do play, this is one of the original ML ones from Chapman Guitars. Innovative new guitar company from England who use collaborative design and a spaz like me <laughs> to to figure out it. And this is the uh, one of the original losties that someone bought back because they're just in the wrong place in the head. <laughs> and, um, but before they did, they put sevens on it or something? You love it. You know you I do. Love it. It's so, such a nice guitar, this one. And how much is it worth? It's about three or four hundred pounds, I can't remember. Make us an offer. I can't remember. Matt will tell you, he runs the, he runs the guitar department. So Matt, how much does it cost? Yeah, 299. 299. 299, but only if you want to do things like this. <laughs> No, we haven't done that one yet, and I, I was really looking forward to doing it and going from that oh, yeah, one. yeah, you're right, you're completely right. I thought we did that one. Oh, no, wait a minute. We did do that one. No, 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 no. We did Jovi, and we, we did the set. But after we did the Jovi thing, we went into the Are You Gonna Go My Way it's part. completely right. We I did, did it wrong. Go, we, we did it wrong. We played this two is songs. Video shoot. This is every video yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We took two songs that would have been amazing, and then chose the first half of one, the second half of another, and put them together. So what we'll do so now is, is we'll... Should we, just, uh, should we just do this one anyway? Yeah, Blue Hotel. Into why you're going to go my way. I might have a Les Paul. Uh, can you pass me that one, please? How does this sound? So we're gonna do we're gonna do um You might have heard this in a video then. But then, but then it goes, then it goes. Oh no. No it doesn't. Then it goes, are oh, you gonna <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Wait. I wonder if you wrote that down wrong. I think I might have just written it down wrong. Improvisation. You you dig it because it goes. Sorry, what an amateur. Captain Lee, lose a man. What an amateur. Right, yes. let's just do it. Anyway. So let's do that. Ready? Well, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can't just start playing, man. Why not? Okay. <laughs>
the video we were recording, we'd have just deleted that whole segment, <laughs> and you'd never have seen any of that. Let's try a different one. In fact, let's get some proper musicians out here. Uh, only, only if the ladies and gentlemen on the internet and in real life in meat space here would like to meet uh, Rabia Massad, Ben Meinl, and David Hollingworth from the band Dorje.
fuck things with time signatures. <laughs> we were trying something in 1617, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, really? That was, yeah. that was utterly ridiculous. We couldn't do it. You count it. One, two, three, four. Seven, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, five, one, two, three. Why don't we hold tone it and just take that whole rip off a of whole tone? So <laughs>
I had to see the video of Rebeard, and I still didn't even believe it was I just thought he was probably miming it or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's a one taker. Yeah. Fucking awesome, man. Thank you. That is awesome. I don't cool. know how, I don't know how it sounded. I couldn't really hear it, but. No, it's alright. Yes! It's alright. Yes! <laughs> all right. yeah, I couldn't really hear it. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't really hear it, you know. Yeah. I broke, broke my hand yesterday and everything. I think we're better when Ben only has one drum. That's <laughs> <laughs> a shame. That's all, that's all bands. Shame, yeah. you just, shame you just scored a massive drum deal. Yes. To get a, a, lots of free kit and stuff. Right. Right, we better do some, some more. Q and A and then. Yeah, Q and A. Q &A. Let's, um, yeah, I was going to say, I had written down on the interweb that I would teach a couple of set topics, but what might be better is if you guys throw ideas for things you'd like to learn about at me, and I'll them, job, I'll answer them on the spot. Cheers, guys. Thanks, all Thank all right. you all. I'll see you in a minute for cracking. <laughs> so, have we got any questions either on the interweb or in the... And this could be about anything to do with guitar, playing, or, or anything in the industry, because I'm open to answering questions on industry. Curly Man. How did Captain get such amazing vibrato? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Luckily we rehearsed this question upstairs. So we well, have I, to... I, kind of, I thought I, I kind of covered that a bit. I... Um, I've always played with vibrato, ever since I can remember being rubbish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, I mean, how, what, what is it that, I, I kind of, I do think, you know, I mean, it, I do listen to other players and I do think that a bad vibrato is horrid to listen to. I do, I do, I'd rather you didn't, I'd rather the player didn't try and do vibrato than, than, than try and do it badly. I'd rather you stopped playing. No, 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 I just... <laughs> carry on with your inferior vibrato. But, you know, vibrato's important, it's a natural thing, isn't it? I mean, it's not... Can I just say, I think that, that's why the captain's vibrato is great, is because to him it's so important. <laughs> This one is the THR-10C, um, which is our boutique version, so it has some really high-end, hand-wired, bluesy kind of American, British type, type sound, so it's so demonstrated. Oh yeah! It's an amazing audio source as well, so you can play your iPod through it, or your MP3 player. Play along to the track, learn the track. Beautifully mixed, that. It sounds like one source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. USB out so you can record from it and um, bundle the Cubase so you can record to the Cubase then you can monitor back out from, from your laptop or iTunes. Play us out, Simon. Oh, oh, oh. THR 10C. Thanks very much, boys. Thank you. Thanks, Brilliant. Brilliant. 